West Texas dust. <laughs> Welcome to the Snake Pit. Bullet. Rye whiskey. My light might be washing this out, but let's take a look at these patches. <clears throat> That's cool one. Got a whole bunch of those from a undisclosed location. El Tenda sent me that one there. Here's some of my Air Force patches. Yeah. Rank name tapes. <clears throat> some of these are just got them from companies as they as I bought stuff from them. Some of them I purchased myself. Uh, like that one caught it on sale a couple bucks, two or three dollars the other day. A little bit, a little while back, stuffed in there. A lot of Iraq veteran 888 patches there from when, from when I was getting those man cans. Ooh, death from above. Starship Troopers. Let's see. I think I got that one from my nephew. And same with that one. A little mega death action from the nephew. Oh, yeah. This one from Salty Shellback. We have a couple of police and our police and a constable patch there. Police patch. That one's pretty cool from Like a Kid Again. And then the constable patch is from ATF Sucks. So it's really freaking cool. Really cool. Just a small wall. If you're looking for a way to hang patches or collect them, this is just one of those Walmart cheap cleaning mats that has kind of the, the felt surface and a has a rubber backing on the other side and I just kind of hung it up on the side of the shelf there so it kind of works out pretty nice I guess we can look at some of these stickers these some of these stickers go way back That's a classic Hornet fixer that was an El Tendo one Mr. Bullet Points you know as you buy stuff from companies they send them to you uh, this I think it's just a magnet Surplus ammo and arms. I still buy stuff from them periodically. I've had good luck with them. Well, I got some Hot Wheels up there covering some of that. Another Hornet fixer over there. Palmetto State. Ah, Mosin the Gaunt. And these are just some of my magnets I've thrown around. Just didn't have another place for them. So I was at, uh, had to have the opportunity to go to Pearl Harbor, check out the memorial. Freaking, if you're, if you ever uh, can, I would recommend going and do that solemn experience. Um, it really is. <clears throat> I was lucky to get a TDY that way back in the day. All right, time to, get, time to. Cheers, everyone. Hope you have a great Friday. I don't even know if I'll post this vid, but uh, yeah, maybe. Why not? Got the uh, eBomi blog radio show going over there. Just took a break to get another drink. <laughs> Long Friday worked extra. Time to enjoy the time off here. Drink responsibly. Hmm. Whoo. I don't heat you up and cool you down all the same time. That's what uh, Mr. Holster always says. <laughs> this stuff is kind of spicy. Rye whiskey. If you haven't ever tried it, try it. This is actually the first time I've tried it. Believe it or not. Always just had just a bourbon or whatever. So this is a little more spicier. Kind of heat to it. It's good though. I like that taste. Uh, I don't even know if this is a... I don't know if this bullet, this is Bullet Rye from Fr Frontier Whiskey. I don't even know if that's a good brand or not, but 45% alcohol by volume, 90 proof. Uh, 90, made from 95% rye mash for a superior American rye whiskey experience. I think American rye whiskey is more regulated than like stuff you might get in Canada or something like that. Distilled in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Can't be all bad, right? That's nah, actually good. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get back to the show. Boom.